you. Oh, now. Oh, please. Thank you. Welcome. No Brazilian lovelies tonight, I'm afraid. <laughs> Discerning viewer. And no explorer like Redmond O'Hanlon on Monday. So you at home can approach your supper without fear or trepidation. And the worry of people describing eating entrails while you're trying to make your way around the sausage. <laughs> now, despite that, despite that, after Monday's show, 25 apparently sane people rang up offering to accompany the mad professor on his next journey up the Congo. <laughs> Are not all locked up yet? <laughs> uh, we have a high proportion of them in the audience tonight. <laughs> anyway, tonight's another tale of high-sounding literary talk from Oberon War and Kingsley Amos, of music from Julian Cope, and the ringing baritone of Radio One's newest and youngest DJ, he's about 47, Simon Mayo. But if you'll contain yourself for a jiff, I'd like you to meet the Baron of Backtalk, the Dean of the University of Reversity, the man who reverses as he converses from America. Where else? David Fuhrer. Ah, this old backward, backwards talking thing. We have, a, we have some members of, of the European Economic Community in the audience. So you may have to speak a little more slowly. Yeah, well, first I want to say, Potpoed Kinin Ramada Woy, you're at Nagao. You know what that is? No. Top of the morning to you, Terry Wogan. Say that again. Potpoed Kinin Ram Adawoy, you're at Nagao. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> your name, uh, is, is anything to do with the fact that your name is Fuhrer, that you prefer to have it said backwards? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Since I was a child, they've been calling me a rare huff. Yeah. So why bother? Why bother talk backwards? Well, it's just uh, it's something that I've always done for fun since I was a child. Uh, I used to call my friends by their names backwards. I had uh, my best friend, his name was Tony. I used to call him Why Not. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had a girlfriend as a child. Her name was Naomi. And, of course, I called her I Moan. Yeah. Excuse <laughs> me, just a minute. Who's that talking down the audience? Could you be quiet? Hi. Are they, talk you. Are they talking backwards? Yes, yeah, just, just a lot of loud talk going on. Yes. No, it's not the audience. It's one of our lads. Right. So how did it start? I mean, the, the start is at, at school days. Palindromes, of course, are well, easy, aren't they? Well, palindromes are words that are the same, exactly the same, backwards and forward. A good example would be uh, race car, R-A-C-E-C-A-R. If you wrote that down, it would be exactly the same, back to front. Yeah. There are many of those, of course. There's, was it a rat I saw? Or one currently in the news in America, star comedy by Democrats. You wrote that down. <laughs> do, you do, do you do it phonetically? No, I do it exactly the way it's spelled. You yeah. didn't, you know, if you gave me a word like mouse, for instance. Uh, why not try a word like mouse? Okay, <laughs> how about that? <laughs> yeah. What I would say is esuom, E-S-U-O-M, but I would not say saum, which is a reversal of a sound. So if you play it through a tape recorder, it would not come out forward. Yeah, as I said, we have some friends from, from Denmark with me. Can you do it in, in other languages? Can you do it in French, Italian, German? Uh, of course. Yeah. Uh, Give us a bit of French. Okay, how about bonjour? That would be rouge nob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have to add the accent. Yeah, but you see, you can rehearse all those, really. I think, I think the trick is really to test you on the basis of maybe words that you haven't... I mean, for instance, anti-disestablishmentarianism. Oh, boy. That's the, the longest word. Of course, that would be missy amurantin missile bits they sit it now. And supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Say said alepsia sits a jar for like repus. <laughs> yeah, but again, you could have been rehearsing those all, all right, day. Well, I'll tell you what. Pick, yeah. Yeah, pick any word or sentence you can think of. Now, I haven't heard this before. Okay, give us a sentence. Can anybody think of a sentence in the all. audience? <laughs> Ten years for this program. No. <laughs> think of a sentence. Anybody think of a sentence? Uh, the cat's out on the mat. At tack, pass no at tam. At would be the, E H T or T H E. Tack, yeah. tack would be cat, sat would be pass. On would be, or no would be on, yeah. the, et, again, and Tam for Matt. Yeah, any more? <laughs> Mississippi Encyclopedia. If a system, adia pulk yik me. Sounds almost the same. Oh, that's good. That really is, we haven't planted anybody in there. Any more, any more? Any tongue twisters? Uh, hey? Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Of course, that would be a puck for epoch. <laughs> a 
course it would. <laughs> Any tongue twisters? Can you think of a tongue twister? <laughs> plucking, a plucking pheasants, yes, I know you do. <laughs> plucking chicken. Well, can he call Snekik? Of course. I heard somebody say Peter Piper. Yeah, Peter yeah. Piper picked a peck of pickled peppercorns. Okay, red up rep the kip it sepo narox rep <laughs> how, how can your brain work like that? I have no idea. <laughs> Say, why, I, I, why would anybody want their brain to I know, work? Why would you want to do that? <laughs> why? I don't know, it's just this uh, incredibly useless ability, but it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Does it ever come in handy? Yeah, well actually, yeah, well, uh, let me try you. Yeah. Okay, it comes in handy. What I've done is I've made it into a game called Backwards, yeah. where players have to race each other to guess words that are spoken backwards and guess right. what they are forward. Okay. So I have a couple of cards from the game. Hmm. All right, I'm going to say something backwards with a clue, and you can try to guess what it is forward. Okay. It's a four-letter word, flog, flog. Golf. Golf, of course. Go golf, golf. Right. I can be good at this. I'll try another one. <laughs> you don't have a four-letter word. I'll try another one that's a little harder. Okay. All right. It's an eight-letter word. Air raid. Air raid. Dairy. No. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about, what about, since we're talking about four-letter words, I mean, it must come in handy for swear words when you really feel like letting off steam. Well, when I get angry, yeah. people can't oh. understand what I'm saying, but I can certainly tell them off. Can you? <laughs> yes. Go on, tell off the audience. To sip, cause up, to knuckle, cover, time, cause it's and stick. <laughs> That's telling him. <laughs> yeah. Is it, I mean, is it any good uh, in, for attracting the opposite sex? I mean, do you ever use it as a method of worming your way into a girl's affection? Well, it doesn't get me very far. Sometimes I go into uh, a bar and say, Adawoy and Makare Netfo. Yeah. Do you come here often? <laughs> <laughs> All I get is a slap across the cheek. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So well, one of them I have here. We do a few tests because I think it's interesting. You'll be thinking of a few phrases or sentences that you could test our friend here with. This is the complete works of William Shakespeare. Opening it at random. Could you do Lady Macbeth? You know, her tab Kim. No, I was only announcing I it. Know. <laughs> <laughs> For other backwards talkers, we want to make sure that they understand what of we're course. reading. Yeah. There's not many of them around, is there? <laughs> but the raven himself is horse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. At Naver Fles Mare, what was after the raven himself? I missed the rest of it. The raven is horse that croaked the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. Se es rot at srock at latef snemel tab, oh, and I missed battlements. The, the snemel tab was battlements. That's it, question mark. Oh. Right. No, I see a cram. Any more for the audience? Checkbook and pen. Kub kasek tna nep. That'll fox the bank manager. That'd be a blankety blank checkbook and pen. Any more? Oh, that. That was Danish. Can we have it again? I'm going to call you the boy. I'm going to call you the boy. Like he's speaking backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we'll be a little How about what? A six letter Chinese food. Yes. Not now. Not now. Wonton. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's been a pleasure. And it's, it's been terrific. It's wonderful because you proved you're not a fake. You haven't been making it up. <laughs> Any one more sentence before he goes? I beg your pardon? The wad ash of your elms? It does a rough boy smelly. Yeah. <laughs> I knew exactly. Yeah. I'm perfectly right. A fitting way to finish this. Thank Canada you very much. And Canada Warrior of the Sun. Thank you very much. So indeed. Oyo, oi, knat, divad, rero. Thank you. Yeah. Now. Now, no one. <laughs> I think I'll slip back into the Danish. I can't keep it up. I get clogged. My, my sinuses. Yeah. Now, I'm sure it hasn't escaped your notice that there's a great radio show going on at Earl's Court in London. I was down there myself on Monday to pick up an award for services to Jimmy Young. And I'll be there tomorrow afternoon on two to share a desert island with two volleys. Just the two of us. Seagull and several hundred spectators. In case you haven't been, this is what's going on.